Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing this. So, uh, what is this? This is uh, basically a hybrid version of this I talked about uh, printing in the last uh, set of videos. So anyways, uh, what I'd like to do before we get in talking and taking a look at this, uh, let's switch to a quick time lapse, take a look at the time lapse of this printing, and then we'll come back and we'll talk in a little bit more detail and pop this off the bed. So, time lapse. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go. <laughs> So we're back from the time lapse. I'm going to pop this off to bed. And uh, I got to tell you guys, this is this is still going way strong. Again, uh, between prints, I clean it with alcohol, and poof, I'm probably over 30 prints on this bed right now easily. And as you saw, it's still quite sticky. So, anyways, that aside, one of the things I did is I remixed this. Um, and I was having a hard time coming up with a, a, a mesh to fit on here. So I created my own in Tinkercad. And you can kind of see a little bit of the artifacting. I could, could have, uh, and I may actually, um, before I put this up on Thingiverse, knock some of these edges down. Uh, I wanted to see how it printed first before I did that. I guess it's not really material. So uh, because of this overlap, I did print with supports. So there are supports in here. And... Uh, these are a little bit firm, so uh, I'm going to pop out the supports, and I expected it to be a little bit easier than this, but it's not. So, whoop, dropped it on the floor. Anyways, um, so I did do a supports. I think I would try thinning up the supports a little bit, so they came out. I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit with the hand grinder. Not, not a big deal. Uh, and the idea is, is, is obviously this will mount on to the front of this as I get the screw out. So this will mount on here, and then the fan will mount on here as such. And I will now have double the fan power on on this bad boy. So uh, I, again, I'm gonna change this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go clean this up. And then uh, I'm going to put it together and I'm going to show you what it all looks like. Okay, so we're back and um, here's the, the finished product, if you will. And it uh, looks pretty darn cool, if you ask me. So we got the uh, fan cover that uh, we printed in a prior video. We got the mesh up on top of here. I am going to have to make a few changes to the model. Um, the, the whole configuration seems to be standard on this, but it's a little bit, I don't know, weird as far as fitting. But anyways, uh, i got to make some changes to the model, and I'm also going to cut off some of this artifacting but uh, from the plate I made. However, anyways, uh, we did get it on there, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on the printer. Welcome back. So we've got uh, everything set up, wired in. Um... So one of the other things that I noticed I'm going to have to do is square up the internal bolt holes with the external, or maybe the internal might be a little bit off, so I might have to create a little bit of, um, you know, a notch inside so this can square up. I mean, it's not, not too bad, but it's not where I want it. So again, I'm going to work on this a little bit before I put it up on Thingiverse. Um, 
However, I mean, this external piece really looks cool. So I'm really happy with the way that this, at least for a first generation, turned out. I'll do some mods on it. The other thing that I want to point out, too, is this is a three-wire fan. So uh, this has an RPM sensor, and so one of the things, obviously, I'm just using it as a fan. Uh, all you have to do is, is make sure you get your positive and negatives correct up here. Uh, you know, the blue is for the RPM, and it's not connected to anything in this case. It would be kind of cool if there was RPM feedback on these. I don't know. There are probably systems that take that into account. Uh, however, again, if you get the, 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 cause the black is ground, red is hot, obviously, and then blue is RPM. So just, you know, look how your fan is connected and just connect it in the same way or use a multimeter to figure it out. So I've already put this one on and tested it out and fired it up. So uh, all in all, I, you know, it's coming out pretty cool. So I'm going to do some more experimentation with this. Also, what I might do is kick this from a fluid dynamic standpoint back a little bit. Um, so it, there's a little bit more funneling action going on, but that's just my geekism. Um, playing around with fluid dynamics. So anyways, um, hope you found this interesting. Again, um, I'll put this up on Thingiverse when i am uh, uh, got it finished where I'm happy with it. Not quite there yet. Uh, when I do, I'll let you know, and you can download it if you want to make this mod yourself. I've also ordered um, some new fans, some two-wire fans, actually, from eBay, uh, uh, like 10 of them, to experiment around with, because I do want to build this on to different things. And what I might actually even do is upscale the extruder fan. I don't know if I've got enough room to a 50 um, millimeter fan, because I think this is a 40. Ah, we'll see. Just something to play around with. So, anyways, hey! Give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit me up in the comments below. I'll let you know how this does as far as performance-wise. Um, you know, in future videos, we'll do some prints, and I'll show you what they look like, obviously, as I always do. And we'll talk about it. So, cheers. Subscribe. See Please you in the next video. click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.